Good morning everyone. Everyone seems to have an issue on the easiest way to adjust your printer driver settings on Windows OS. So I'm going to try and walk you through how to do it um, really quick, simple, without going through a design software or application. Just do it right straight through the drivers. And that way there it's always set. Um, if you're on Windows, you should have the, the search bar here. Um, if you don't, you can right click the Windows icon and go to settings and it'll bring you up to the same menu. Um, pretty much. If you do it that way and go to settings, you want to go to devices, printers and scanners, and then you want to select your printer. For this demonstration here, I'm going to show you on the 7720 Epson Workforce. You click on your printer and then you go to manage, which then brings this window up. The easiest thing to do here is just select printing preferences and this brings your driver settings windows up. Um, you will want to make sure that you have the most up to date version of your driver. When this is installed it's on plain paper. For sublimation um, what works best normally is premium presentation map, quality, standard or high. Um, that's going to be something that you have to go through and figure out for yourself. They will give different results and it also has to do with what paper you're using. Always make sure that this is set on color. A lot of people accidentally click this black grayscale and then all your images come out black and white and they don't know why. It's all here in this setting. Then you want to go up to more options. And then here is where your color correction is. This will normally be set on automatic. Um, here you go to custom and then click on advanced. And then here you have different selections. The most common is ICM, um, or you can go to color controls. Color controls allows you to choose from Epson Vivid or Adobe RGB. If you go Adobe RGB, you have 2.2, which is gonna be more vibrant, um, meaning more ink is put down, or 1.8, which is a little more subdued. If you look here in this window, the original photo preview window, it shows you that. If you see how everything here is almost the same, if you go to 2.2, it darkens it up a little bit. This is unfortunately something that you're going to have to play around with, depending on your specific ink, your specific printer, and how you're designing it. Like I said, normally it's ICM, um, but you can go through and set it. My recommendation is to print out a color chart with each setting and see what's going to give you the most um, result that you want. Down here you want to click off high speed unless you start getting what's called pizza roller marks and then try clicking high speed again. It's how fast this how fast it goes through the system. The slower it goes through the system the more that it can dry sometimes depending on the amount of ink that you're putting down. If you click mirror image here you will no longer have to mirror it in your software but it also means that if you do anything that you have to mirror do you have i mean that you don't have to mirror like if you're doing glass or anything you come back in and you uncheck this you can do add remove presets we'll walk through that in another video um me right now i'm just using this standard as i do not have it set up for sublimation currently so i'm going to set everything back to factory default basically click ok now your settings are set. Um, like I said, in the next video, we'll go through and we'll do presets. That helps out a lot with stuff. Let me know how you like the video. Let me know if there's anything else that you know. Thanks.